What's up, YouTubers and comic collectors? This is Dan with Dan Does Comics, bringing you another comic book haul video. Uh, this is for the rest of July in August 2021. Uh, this is part one. I have about 40 books for this haul. I got some books on eBay, got them at my local comic book shop, and I got some at Boston Fan Expo. Um, so like, subscribe to my channel, leave some comments below. Hope you guys enjoy. Okay, guys, so the first book I got, this actually came out this week, uh, September, uh, was it, 14th? Um, this is King the Conqueror number two. This is the first appearance of Ravona Renslayer as Moon Knight. Uh, she was the judge in the Loki series. Um, so she turns into Moon Knight in this issue. Uh, next book I got up is Uncanny X-Men 156. This is the first appearance of Lockheed, uh, which is the dragon from Excalibur. And I picked up a Donny Cates, Thor number seven. That's the first appearance of Adam Thor. He was, um, I guess, wielding Majolner uh, in this issue. Um, and then this one was a good one. I got an Internals miniseries number three, uh, Newsstand. It's a pretty good copy. It's probably like a 9-2. Um, that's the first appearance of Phaistos. And I guess he's going to be in the movie, the Eternals movie. Um, and I picked up a Wolverine, uh, number two. This is the first appearance of a blade, I guess, that can counteract uh, Wolverine's uh, healing powers. Um, and, of course, I got this one. Uh, excellent condition. This is 9-8. I was thinking about grading this one. This is X-Men number one, uh, the Magneto cover from Jim Lee. And I picked up another copy. I sold one, so I picked up it again. Uh, this is Nikki Doyle, Wild Thing number one. That's the first appearance of Nikki Doyle. I guess she's a symbiote hunter. So, picked up one of those. And then this one I also got. This is Ghost Rider number two. Uh, this is the first appearance of Blackout. Uh, and Blackout is rumored to be a villain in the Midnight Suns either show or movie, whatever they're doing. Um, so, that's uh, his first appearance. Okay. I picked up a Berserker number one. I wanted this. I was trying to find that. I picked up that. Picked this one up at Boston Comic Con, or rather, Fat Fan Expo. Um, just cover A. And this one I was looking for for a while too. Uh, this is House of X uh, number three. I'm missing four. Then I picked up a Peacemaker number one. This book has been heating up because of this new Suicide Squad movie that came out over the summer. Um, Peacemaker's Alive, and this is his first uh, uh, series that he was in. And I picked up a Superman, number 211, Brian Azzarello, Jim Lee, Scott Williams. That cover is fire. Um, it was just a great looking cover, so I picked that up. And I picked up, again, I like this cover too. This was in a dollar bin. Uh, Vampirella, uh, number one. It's a J. Lee cover. But it's a pretty sexy cover. So I picked that up. Let's see. Alright. And I got a Batman 442. Um, that's the first appearance of Tim Drake as Robin. So then I got this one. This was kind of a spec book, I guess. Uh, Aquaman number 30. Uh, Silver Age. Um, that's the first appearance of Mongo and the first appearance of the city Necris. That's rumored to be an Iron Man, uh, Iron Man, Aquaman 2. So I picked that up. And this one I got was the next Batman, Future State, uh, number one. That's the first appearance of Tim Fox as Batman. And then I got a Jungle Action, Black Panther, number 22. Two things on here. It's the first appearance of Soul Strangler, and it's also Black Panther versus the Ku Klux Klan. So that happened in this issue. And then these next three I picked up. All right, this is White Widow, number one. That is the Kickstarter uh, original, number one. Um, and then I picked up a White Widow, number one, second print. Uh, that is just a fire cover, and that's a prism. 
And again, the third one, this is the collector's edition uh, White Widow. So it was those three White Widows I picked up. All right. Next one I got, some of you might have this one, Fantastic Four 346. That's the first appearance of the Time Variance Authority, the TVA from the Loki series. I picked this up uh, from IDW. Uh, I got this one on a dollar bin. Ragnarok, number one. I just like the cover, and it was a dollar. And then this one, this was strange. So one comic shop I was in, this was, this was was they were selling this for $80. You know, Amazing Spider-Man 408, Media Blizzard Part 2. I don't know why it was 80 bucks, but I was I went to another comic shop like a couple of days later, and they had one of these for cover price. So I just bought it because it was like three dollars and i don't know why that other shop had it for 80. i don't know if it was an error or something but they both look the exact same to me so all right uh and then this one you've probably seen before this is uncanny x-men 199 uh this is in a newsstand and this is the first appearance of rachel summers uh as phoenix uh, rachel summers is uh, scott and Jean's daughter all right and then this one also has been picking up a lot of steam is Deathstroke Terminator number one uh, just with all the Deathstroke talk that they might roll forward with so this is his first solo series all right so then I got a Gwenpool number 19 this is the first appearance of evil Gwenpool now these next couple I kind of bought just because uh I like the covers. I got a Red Sonia, number 60. Um, I just really like that cover. I, I collect some Red Sonia here and there. Um, and I got a Red Sonia Vultures, Vultures Circle, number two. Again, because I like the cover. And then this one, Alley Baggett is Alley Cat, number one. Again, I like the cover. That was in a dollar bin. And so was this one, this last one. Uh, Pandamerica from IDW, number one post-apocalyptic type of storyline that we've seen. All right, a couple more. All right, this one is a really good one. Um, this is Captain America 16. I believe this is volume, I want to say four. Um, but it's the first appearance of Sin, which is uh, Red Skull's daughter. And apparently she might be the villain in Captain America 4. So that book's been heating up. And this one was a cool addition. Uh, this is X-Men number one that came out this year in 2021 in the summer. Um, this was a Midtown Comics exclusive. This is this is what they gave across uh, for store variants, store exclusives. So they had a bunch, so I picked that one up. And then this one, Superman 123. This is the first Superman blue suit or electrified Superman uh, that they tried doing in the late 90s. Um, I got an Amazing Spider-Man 512. That's the first appearance of Grey Goblin. And I got a Star Wars Adventures number seven. That's the first full appearance of Crimson Corsair. And this one, I just love this cover. I've always loved this cover. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 323. Uh, Todd McFarlane cover. I just... He did a great job with uh, Captain America on there. Uh, this is the first full appearance of Solo. And Solo might be a spin-off um, Spider-Man, either ally or villain. Uh, he might show up somewhere in something um, soon. That's what it was rumored. Um, I got an X-Factor number 10. Uh, that is the death of Scarlet Witch. And then I picked up a Captain America 428. Uh, that's the first appearance of Americop. And then I got a Batman number 77, City of Bane storyline. That is the death of Alfred. Okay, and this one is a Star Wars The High Republic uh, number 7. Um, this has the first appearance of Orla Gerani and Darth Krall. Pick that up, had a Darth in it. Then these next two 
which are awesome, which I've been wanting for a long time. This is Venom Lethal Protector number five. Uh, that's the first appearance of Phage, first Agony, first Riot, and first Lasher. Okay. And then I got this one as well with it. Venom Lethal Protector number four. That's the first appearance of Scream uh, symbiote. So I've been wanting that. And then lastly, for this video, I got, I picked up a Daredevil 168 and an 8.0 from CGC. Uh, if I, need, I got this one on eBay, uh, CGC day 0.0, first Electra. Uh, so that was my haul for uh, July and August. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, like, subscribe to my channel uh, and leave any comments below. Later, guys.